Hello! This was a funny game, or mishap kind of, where essentially every single person DC'd by the end of the game and I had to deal with it. Uh, it's very funny, this happened around a week ago, I'm finally able to make videos again so I hope you watch and I hope you enjoy. Uh, and yeah, let us get into the video. Thank you to Smazabazo uh, for being a super patron and let's get into it, shall we? Well, we definitely are having a game. Uh, so hopefully this time it'll go a little bit longer than the previous few games because uh, I don't know if you've been able to see it through the video or not. Really? Really? Vi this is what I mean, like, people just DC the moment you play a perk. It's like, oh, they're playing a meta perk. They're playing one meta perk in a build that's like four terrible perks. Oh well. You get a speed boost every single time you do this. You get a speed boost every time you do this. And if this person's this eager to drop pallets, I mean, I'll play. It really sucks though, I want to show off the build, and it requires the survivors to actually play the game. I can't just like, not have a this build. You're the original survivor. I hear you. Where, where were you? Up here? Ah. Gotcha. See, having headphones and having like loud headphones is the most important thing if you're playing killer. Because you can hear people when they're injured. And like when you can actually hear people, it really helps. I think they're going for the save now. No, that was just them. Okay. Ah, I was right. It was a premonition. I wonder if this is a, a kill. Yeah, I would have gone. I would have been able to get a Moy in the previous game. <sighs> Man, it's so annoying. I just want to show off this cool end game build with Myers, but like, apparently I'm just too good. They did not see that coming. They are way too used to people not doing the uh, back moonwalking trick. It is so upsetting. I don't need. I don't need to kick gens really. I just need to find where these other survivors are. They're down there. It doesn't matter. Not over there. Not over there. Well then, the only places they can really pop up are here. Somewhere around here. And then up here. There they are, finally. Like, why is this how every single game goes? Survivors these days are so panic. Like, they're like. I just don't get it, man. Like. Why continue. Like, it's. Oh, man. It's just so lame. 
I'm playing a killer with no perks essentially. Like I had corrupt. Uh, and that's like a good perk. But like imagine like only corrupt Myers, not even using his power basically, other than to getting to actually being able to play the game. Uh, and then just DCing. Like how they blew up the gen. That has to be the vitrio. I almost feel like letting the vitrio live. Just as an FU. But then at the same time, I feel like I should let the Nia live because the Nia is actually the only one actually trying. Oh, why would you do this, Luke? It's a loop, but it really won't that much. Let's get some store. Because we're probably going to need it. <laughs> Such a weird robot. I'm just gonna leave him, honestly. He's impressing me. He's impressing me more than probably the actual player who chose him. At least, at least the robot chooses to play. What are you doing? Welcome to Dead by Daylight, guys. Welcome to Dead by Daylight, where you can play such killers as No Power Myers and everyone DCs. Like, this is the world we live in now in Dead by Daylight. Like, how, how fun is this, guys? Oh man, we get so much fun. Like, this is what killers have to do now. Because survivors just aren't good at the game and they just can't loop. Or, I don't know. I'm playing a top, I'm playing a bottom five killer. A killer that most people say, most people will say is like the worst killer in the game. And yet, I've won three games in a row. Like, maybe my MMR's low. But MMR really doesn't seem to impact things that much. So I mean like, like personally I feel like, yeah it's it's a blessing and a curse, like at this point like, the game should just auto win to me, because it's not like the bot is going to get more points or anything, still on that gen. They left the moment they can't go that way. The moment they heard my turret radius, they bleed. How the hell? Okay, well, they must have gotten off via a lucky 4%. But, like, wow, how fun, guys. I'm having so much fun right now. You know, playing this really fun build uh, that's meant to be you get to the very end, and then, you know, I'm able to do this crazy upset, but no. Every game I win, and then the survivors, you know, as soon as one person dies early, or as soon as anything happens, everyone just concedes. And then I have to stay here because I want blood points. Like, great. I have to deal with these loops. Which, thank you, Behavior, for designing such amazing loops. Like, it's a bot. They're not going to change their direction. Huh? 
Like, they're really good. They, like, they basically know where you are. To an extent, in Chase. It's surprising. But just, like, goddamn, like... Is this where Dead by Daylight has gone? To the point where even if you play an extremely weak killer and you're not even abusing any of the things that can make him busted and you're only running essentially one perk, the people will still DC because they're just like, oh well, killer too strong because they made 50 mistakes. It's, it's hilarious. He dropped his, med his he dropped his toolbox, so he has to be somewhere. Unless they just naturally drop items once they've used them. Maybe they do that. Like, I feel like they're fucking with me. Yeah, they are. There has to be a point where they stop. Yeah, now. Yep. What is the world we live in? What is the damn world we live in? Well, I'm getting my Rancor value. Whether you like it or not. Yes, whether the robot likes it or not. Poor, poor AI. Having to be dismembered. Oh, I thought those legs were the hatch. At least they didn't have, um, adrenaline. Because that would have just been annoying at that point. Well. Right, we don't have them. Okay. I mean... I guess. But yeah, welcome to Dead by Daylight, where survivors have literally no skill, get bodied by a bottom 5 killer with basically no perks and add-ons. Uh, with no power either. And then they just become bots and then the killer just has to deal with bots. Welcome to Dead by Daylight.